been a little while since I last played, played this. Again. Stupid Twitch. Um, anyway. It's been a while since I've played this. So, please bear with me when it comes to playing this game. So, let's see how far we can get in to Outlast. progress really no no I'm not no 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 fuck no get your ugly ass out of my place out of my face just keep on moving nobody wants you here that's all right just keep on moving So apparently somebody lies. I don't know who they are. There we go. some creepy ass noise in here. Like... Big fucking guy. <laughs> well then, uh, what a name. The big fucker stalking me. Found a patient file for, for a Chris Walker, ex-military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. So. Um, yeah, that, uh, totally just happened. Uh, are there any batteries in here? not looking like it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was just in here. Ha! <laughs> I don't remember how to run. The oh. Oh, that first second, I thought something was, like, crawling on the ceiling. I was about to flip some shit. I have 
have no clue where I'm supposed to be going, by the way. So, um, this is going to be a lot of me trying to figure that out, I guess. That was really fucking loud. You fucking moron. Why do I hear that sound? Project Wall Raider Profitability Report. There is serves the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Markov Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven su sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant. Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. Um. Okay. I think. Uh. Well, I don't remember what that said. Uh. MK Ultra CIA Hypnotic Homicide. Uh, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1954, hypno hypnotic experimentation and research for research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massa Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. 1. A post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Uh, okay. Mrs. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce has then, was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Miss Jackson for failing to awaken. I'm seeing an extreme problem with this. Uh, Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. What? After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. So, these people are being given suggestions that they wouldn't normally do. And they completely forget about it. Afterwards, am I understanding this correctly? Like,
Uh, a lot of this just, to me, really isn't making a whole lot of sense. Like, I don't understand why they're wanting to do all of this stuff. So, why are they taking people and making them do things that they normally wouldn't do? I, I don't know. I guess I'm just... Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Like... Uh, okay, yeah. So my objective is to restart the generator, which is out here where I'm at. Um, and a little disclosure, I have kind of sort of watched somebody else play this before. However, I don't remember how it went. So, um... Oh, what the, uh, oh, okay, that's my hand. Alright, um. Normally, I'm not this jumpy. <laughs> um. So. These are really fucking loud, like... Really, really fucking loud. And, and how does... Whoever is following me or whatever in here not hear this dude breathing like he's not being quiet. Like he's not quiet at all. And I think I've already screwed this up. So, um, yeah, like, right there's the dude. <laughs> uh, and, as you know, I don't have weapons. I'm supposed to run, I'm supposed to hide. And,. Investigate, but also at the same time try and figure out how to get out of here. And oh shit, why is there a lot of banging? Um, I don't want to leave. You can't make me leave. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave. And just hope to high hell that, uh, I can do this relatively quickly.
Yeah, just keep on walking. You see no one, you hear no one, just... Keep on doing whatever it is you're doing. And leaving me alone because nobody likes you. Um. Fuck off! Oh my god, guys! He's gonna fucking find me, ain't he? He's gonna open the door! Oh my god! <laughs> um, yeah, that was, uh, very... <laughs> not good! To say the least, um, <laughs> I could have very well died right there. Um, and it's not even the big guy who is chasing me, it's some other dude. And, and like, there's a lot of stuff going on with this big guy. And I know that there are others, but like, so far other than the big guy and now this guy, most of them seem to be not very responsive. So, why are these two different? I just, a lot of this isn't making sense to me. So, um, but anyway, that is all the time that I have for this particular episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, including me having my jump scare and, you know, just being an idiot when it comes to stuff like this. But I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.